Hello, this is Paul from Fossil Tech. In this video, let's prove CRM 1.8.2. Uh, this CRM tells us how to determine if uh, a transformation is a matrix transformation or not a matrix transformation. See, and the equivalent condition is like uh, these two. Uh, that the relationship usually we call linear property. Okay, and uh, so this result just say uh, here is a matrix transformation is equivalent to uh, the relationship host. The relationship usually we have a name called linear property, which means if we combine the additivity and the homogeneity, so we call it linear property. So let me combine these two into one formula. Okay, this formula is just to say um, the image of the linear combination of U and V is just uh, the linear combination of the image. Okay, so easily to get from I and two, the first two properties. So now <clears throat> we have to prove in two ways. So the first, <clears throat> uh, if T is a, a matrix transformation and then we need to see the linear property holds that the first but this is already done right so the previous theorem uh, theorem 1.8.1 okay. that's true and then now we look at the second backwards and is this true uh, if the linear property holds is T a matrix transformation? Uh, we have to use the definition of matrix transformation. Means uh, for any image, I give you any input x, and the image can be right into a matrix multiplication. So we need to find a standard matrix, right? Okay, so now let's do this kind of strategy. Uh, for, so first, uh, let me set up uh, this one E1. E2. Okay, so uh, this is the standard matrix, standard unit matrix uh, vectors in n space. Why is it in n space? Because the question says T is a transformation from n space to m space. Okay, so we look at the domain, we find the unit, uh, standard unit vector first. And now, for any vector uh, belongs to the n space, uh, we easily break it down. So therefore, these are so we should write into a column. Uh, let me just put it. These are standard unit vectors in column. Okay, so all the column vectors. Because later we need to do matrix multiplication. Okay, I use this form. So therefore the same, I use the column vector for any general input x. So that's x1, x2, 2xn, right? We can break it down into a linear combination of the standard unit vector, which is, right, okay? So this is the first step, and then I will look at what is the image of uh, this vector x on the t. So T at this X should be uh, just a T at this linear combination. Let me cut the linear combination. Okay, and then I look at it. Uh, this is the image of a linear combination, right? So we just say the linear property holds. The linear property holds means uh, the image of the linear combination should be the linear combination of the image. Now, I can write into this, and it is by linear property. Um, one more, okay, straight edge. I can make this uh, into a matrix multiplication, but we need to know, okay, so what is this vector? This is the image of T. The image should be in M space, right, because T as from n space to m space. Therefore, this is a, a vector, okay? This should be belongs to 
m space. Let me simply say this is also a column vector. Let's also say a column vector. Therefore, this is a column vector. This is all column vectors. Okay, so I can write it into matrix multiplication in this way. And this should be true. So like a row multiply a column, of course we get all this. Um, now, because this is a column vector, this is a column vector, this is also a column vector. So this is a matrix. And then we can define, now we define, okay, that this is a matrix A. And the size is easy because each column belongs to M space. Therefore, the row is M and the column is M uh, is N. So the size of A should be M by N. And then again, here we already say this is a vector X. So we can write it into matrix multiplication. That's A times X. Okay. And then let me highlight at the beginning, we have a T at X. So what is the image? Okay, under this transformation, and the image is a matrix mode of occasion. So, what kind of a conclusion we get? We get a T should be uh, a matrix mode of occasion, right? And then the A should be the standard matrix. So, we can make a conclusion. Yeah, like this. So, that's the proof. Thank you.